Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the Tiger Cat 880. So, um, since I've been kind of releasing some pictures here and there, kind of showing off uh, the progress as it goes, so far it's been going really well. Um, I've had to make a few sacrifices and a few changes. Uh, not normally what I would normally do, but <laughs> um, it's, uh, it's going along quite well. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on how it looks and what's going on and what's changed. So um, the one thing I did have to do is I wasn't able to use uh, texture files in the new game just because there's some weird stuff going on in the editor that uh, it removes certain faces. So if you put textures on... Some of the faces were like getting removed and becoming invisible, and it's something to do with adding multiple materials to uh, a body shape or a mesh, but I don't know what's going on there. They might fix it in the future. So I did end up having to go the U-Dim route, uh, so I U-Dim the whole machine, the whole body. Again, it's not my favorite thing. Like I don't really like the kind of... It's a little more cartoony looking. I mean, the texture is there. Like, if you get nice and close, you can see there is a little bit of, like, dirt splatter. There is a little bit of texture on it. But for the most part, I, I still prefer that kind of AO baked kind of dark look to it. Um, it just gives it more of a, a better look. Like I said, you can see, like, the little glints and stuff on the metal uh, in this case. Like, the little speckles and stuff. But you don't have, like, the cool wear that we used to have where you'd have the big, you know... Um, gougy marks or the, the silver edges and stuff that made it look pretty cool. So um, maybe that's something I can change in the future if they update the editor, but I'm not expecting it to. So anyway, this one is U-dimmed entirely um, so that it doesn't have any texture files whatsoever. It's all just U-dimmed and being lit up by the actual uh, the actual uh, lighting of the game. Uh, so yeah, anyway, so I just wanted to show you guys what's uh, what's going on, what's changed. Uh, for the time being, uh, and this may change as well, these are the only tracks that can actually support this body type. Um, and these are just kind of these crawler tracks. Uh, I think it's from the Snowplow in-game. Um, they don't look exactly like what real tracks look like. They kind of have a little bit of a weird kind of squariness, squariness to them. Um, again, I'm missing some parts. I need to get some rollers and stuff in there to kind of clean it up. But like I said, these tracks are fully functional. They do have wear on them. As you can see, I've been running around a lot, so they're starting to wear down to the metal. And they actually look pretty cool once they're down to the metal and it's just completely silver. So, um, like I said, these are just the base tracks for now that'll work. Um, probably in the first version that comes out, it'll have these. I really, really wanted to use these ones because ultimately these are the best tracks that you can get for machines. But I don't have the the expertise or the knowledge on how to get rid of this riser at the back. So you see how this track kind of goes up and it's got this big lip on the back? Well, unfortunately, this style of track won't fit on here because it'll have this big, big gouge that goes down. So I had to use a flat track like these guys here. Um, and like I said, they're fully functional and they work and they don't look too terrible. So um, we'll have a little review of those once we get running. Uh, the other thing that's changed is the grapple. So this grapple is uh, detachable, so you can detach it and attach it however you want there. Um, I did switch to the component-based system. It's no longer a static, solid uh, arm on it. So now when you go to pick up logs, um, it's not you can't you can't crush them. Actually, here I should reset this uh, machine here too. There we go, because I just changed something on it. Um, so yeah, like I said, now you can't cr well you, you can kind of crush them, but you can't really crush them in the sense of the last game where you could squeeze them so hard they would shoot off in every direction. Um, so that's been changed. Uh, on the grapple system. Like I said, it's all you dimmed Everything's pretty much base setup. Uh, LED lights, all that fun stuff. Um, yeah, so interior-wise, I'm not done the interior. I haven't even really started on the interior. Um, I need to get the screens running, so there's no screens uh, currently active. So when you fire up the machine, there's no, um, no activity or anything like that. But the interior is really nice. I still got to do some decals and maybe some uh, warning stuff or stickers or something like that. Um, but yeah, just pretty basic interior, nothing too crazy, but still looks a lot better than our old ones because our old ones were pretty nasty. Um, so yeah, from outside the cab, uh, everything's pretty much the same as it was. You got your slightly tinted windows, uh, all that good stuff. Um, it does have hoses on it that are connected, but they are just static hoses. They don't do anything. Uh, they don't wiggle with the heads or anything like that. They're just really basic. As for sound effects right now, it just runs off of the... Uh, the same sound effects that are in-game for that little uh, Mulcher guy over there. Um, 
I, I haven't seen the sound editor come out yet. I think it's coming out soon, so hopefully we'll be able to make our own sound effects and add stuff. But for now, it's not like a terrible, uh, it's not a terrible sound. Seems to work. Uh, so again, in cab. Uh, so this is the new grapple. And like I said, we went with this, uh, the uh, roto, the roto style, roto rake style head to start. So the difference with this one compared to the old ones is the old heads that I used to have were a solid component based system. So basically this whole chunk was solid and the claws were solid as well. On this one they do have give. It's not like a terrible amount of give but there is some give there. Um, it seems they've updated it and they've made it a lot better since the last game. So I was playing with it and it turned out actually quite well. So hopefully we'll be able to use that. The only difference with me using the component system and you can probably see this on some of the in-game equipment um, you get like glitches, so like the, uh, watch the cylinders, so the cylinders that are those little guys inside there, you see how they kind of have like a little bit of a, a delay? You see how it kind of jumps back up and forward? Which I'm not a fan of, but that's just the way it goes. Um, it's the same effect that you have like on that, uh, bison over there with those little, uh, hoses that attach that kind of, when you spin it too far, they kind of glitch out and jump. I, I found on lots of equipment right now there's stuff going on. Same with the, uh, I think it's the Komatsu, is it this, oh no, where's the Komatsu forward or this guy here? So like for instance, this window wiper piece right here, uh, when I turn, do you see how it moves? It like drags behind. So like up in the top you can see how it's like dragging and then it glitches, watch how it pops back. Bloop. It's, it's not supposed to do that. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it from the front here. You can barely see it. But, like, stuff like that, that's that's just kind of what I'm trying to demonstrate is what's going on. It's got, like, a little bit of a delay, and I don't really know what that is. That's new compared to the last game. So, um, if you if you slam the cylinders back and forth, you see they kind of do, like, a little bit of a pop. Anyway, I've not found a way to correct that. I don't think you can because I think it's just the game playing catch-up. But not a game-breaking thing or anything. Um, so, yeah, like I said, now when you go uh, pick up logs and stuff... It's, it's still a very solid head, like it's got a very solid feel to it. Um, it's just now you can't really crush the log. So if I squeeze as tight as I can, you get a little bit of jitter, but like it's, it's nowhere near as bad as it was. And you can still do a lot of easy pickups. You don't have to worry about like crush crushing the logs anymore. You can, uh, you can roll them up quite nice and they, they stay in there. You don't need locking straps, you don't have to do anything special. Um, if you squeeze like really tight, like if I hold it down really tight, you'll notice they kind of wiggle a little bit. But then you just got to back off your claw a little bit and then drop it. But um, like I think anybody coming into this from the last game will really enjoy how much easier it is to pick up logs. Like I said, now you can actually like go grab a log kind of halfway and actually like pick it up. Uh, again, these these physics on these logs are really bad. So again, it looks like you're not even touching the log, but. Um, you can actually pick up a log like this, and it was really, really hard to do that in the last game because uh, the static heads that I had made it next to impossible. But because these are components now, like, you don't get a lot of slip. Like, the, the, trees, the, the trees and logs don't slip out of the heads like they used to. Um, so it's actually quite nice. So I think, uh, I think overall you guys are really going to enjoy the, uh, the upgrade to that system. Um, it holds the logs quite well. It's really easy to load now. Um, and you don't really have to do anything too crazy. You can even pick up the little bits without them kind of running away on you. So either you can bite them like that, or you can roll them right up in the head and just kind of squeeze down on them. But they stay really, really stable. Um, like I said, I'm all about the functionality. That's 99% uh, of my whole purpose in logging. And this feels really good to me, next to almost real life. Because uh, in real life, they do have that same kind of component based system again it's not obviously like real life but it's closer to real life than we were in the last game so um yeah i think people will have a lot of fun with this once we get her all figured out here like i said there's still some stuff i got to do um like i said i want to detail the interior a little bit more obviously it's kind of bland looking got to get some screens working all that fun stuff um all the lights and stuff are working on it you got rear lights side lights front lights all that good stuff um yeah, no, it's uh, it's it's coming along really good, and I can't wait to get it out to you guys. But it'll be a little bit yet. I still got some body collisions and other stuff. Um, the other thing that's kind of a hang up right now is the weights. So this guy is extremely heavy, not quite as heavy as it used to be in the last game. And again, there's probably going to be a few updates as we move forward through this game uh, to weights and adding vehicles. So 
I'm just going to tab out to a little setup I have out here. Wherever it is. Here we go. Um, so this is... I was just going to show you guys the low bed test. So, again, just like the last game, these trucks are gutless as all hell. Um, they also don't... Like, they have friction issues where they slip really easy. Um, so you can transport it with the in-game equipment, but it's, it's kind of hefty, and it's a little bit tricky. This isn't the best low bed for doing this either. Um, so I'm just going to use this guy. See, this is kind of how those tracks wear, which isn't actually too bad. It, it doesn't look too terrible. Like I said, I need to add some rollers and stuff to kind of make it a little bit more nicer so it's not so blah. But um, for a first release, I think it'll be good. And then if we get a better track system down the road, we can obviously upgrade. Um, the biggest thing about um, using the in-game track system is that you're going to have a lot less issues. The old track system that we used in FS19... Uh, was a script based system and I'm really trying to get away from those because they cause lots of Lua issues and I really don't want to deal with that anymore. Oops, it was already running. Fire that up. Okay, so uh, this guy I only can load on this low bed uh, from the side. So, oops, uh, so I generally just go use my head to lift myself up here. Erp. I didn't really go with that very straight either. Okay, and then I'm just going to turn it. Now, uh, one thing that is really cool, and I didn't know this, is that the locking straps for this game have uh, increased to lock everything, including vehicles, heads, components, basically anything with a component system. Um, you're good to go, which is pretty sweet. So if I get in here, I can hit L, and it actually locks the head and the body of the machine down as well, which is pretty sweet. Now granted, these things are heavy as beans, uh, the machines. So getting it going, it is slow as beans. And then once it actually picks up speed, it's usually pretty good. The gearing system's a little wacky, but um, I guess it's kind of realistic. It's not like you'd go from zero to 60 with a, a machine that heavy on there, so. But yeah, I mean, you can trek them around and they do stay locked, which is nice. Uh, I'm kind of afraid of hills because hills are brutal. You might have to get a run at them a little bit more. But for the most part, like, I was able to stop, trek around. Um, again, this is a really long, really low, low bed. So if you want to go over anything too crazy, it's probably going to be a pain in the butt. And that back end gets hung up on everything. So I'm probably going to make <clears throat> a version of a, this low bed or maybe another low bed. And uh, we'll... Uh, make it a bit shorter for hauling so I was just gonna kind of cruise around here a little bit but you can see it's it's kind of struggles on the hills but once it grabs that next gear it's not too too bad again like I find these these in games uh, machines to be a little gutless so might have to do my own version of one of these just to have a real hefty one but I mean for the most part I mean this gets it around the map at least not at like super high speeds or anything but a lot faster than driving it from location to location and worst case scenario you can probably have an AI worker drive something out or have the AI worker drive the machine out if you really want to just chill out for a bit and let it drive itself but yeah anyway I just wanted to show you guys kind of progress update uh, still no exact release date or anything like that because I do have some stuff I got to uh, I got to cover but, I mean, overall, it, it has turned out really well. It's going well. And, again, it's it's UDIM based, so there's no textures. The files are really good. They respond really well. Low FPS, or, I mean, well, high FPS. Low FPS uh, problems, so it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. And it doesn't look too bad, neither, so I'm pretty happy about that. Anyway, I just want to give you guys a quick update, and uh, I'll let you guys know as we move forward what the, uh, what the plan is. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next one. Bye.